What's up guys and gals and welcome to Weekly Indie Newcomer, a series that I do on Fridays where I play a game that might otherwise not get noticed in the indie scene and one that's also been picking at my skin lately and this is definitely one of those titles. Today we're going to be playing a game called Swipe Cart which is by a company by I believe called Micro Factory. You can get it for $4.99 on Steam right now if after you watch this video you are not thoroughly frustrated by watching me play terribly then you can go get it yourself and you can actually beat me on the leaderboards. It's got global leaderboards for all of this stuff. What is Swipe Cart? Well at its default level Swipe Cart is a physics game where you have to plan your momentum out in a minecart race and you only get the velocity you start out with and you've got to get as close to the goal as possible as fast as possible and by doing that you earn gems you earn money which you can then use to upgrade your cart make yourself look cooler and buy all kinds of cosmetic upgrades today we're gonna to be starting with a particularly tricky little level in which I will explain some of the mechanics to you I can't guarantee we're gonna play this well but we're gonna do my best it may take me 30 or 40 tries to get this level done but I wanted to start out by showing you a map that makes you use a lot of the rudimentary skills before we get on to some of the more complicated stuff because believe me you'll be learning a lot of new skills in this game but it's a lot like chips challenge in that when you finally beat a level you've been struggling with all day you will leap out of your chair and you will roar in victory so let's go ahead and start it out level 119 slam dunking the needle now on this map we've got a launch off of this spot right here and we've got to thread the needle and land inside this little receptacle for our minecart roll down the hill go here reverse direction and then like kind of slide towards the exit it's difficult it's difficult but I think we can do it so let's come together everybody I need you to channel your gestalt field and let's do this thing so when you start out you're gonna accelerate by clicking and jerking the mouse back and forward quickly you've had practice I've had practice we all know that this is gonna work out great this is basically jerking a mouse back and forth is something that I've trained my entire life for so with absolute risk control let's go ahead and give it our first go okay and we're off and are we gonna make it? Oh, we made it! Hell yeah! And that right there is my ghost from my perfect playthrough where I landed it just right. You can click anytime to use your brakes and you'll see that a heat meter up here speeds up along the way. Let's go down the hill and I think we're gonna need a little bit more speed to get up and over this little bump. I don't know, we might make it. Oh, it's so close. Alright, slow it down. There we go, and so we landed right on the goal. That's all you've got to do right there, and I beat my previous time. By how much, I'm not really sure. The new record gains you fans. I don't know what fans do. It hasn't really become part of the gameplay yet, and after like 30 levels, if it hasn't become part of the gameplay, I'm assuming it may... Oh, you get more money based on how many fans you have. Okay, that makes more sense. And so it places you in the percentile that you placed in throughout the entire world. It shows you everybody else's score. This game is available on both Desura and Steam, and you'll be, completing, you'll be competing with quite a few people. I'm the kind of person that I have to land like in the top 25% otherwise I just can't live with myself it's my competitive nature it has to happen additionally they give you a driver's license up here at the top you'll get ranks as you rank up you unlock new carts new cosmetics you can look different you can get different wheels different cars different helmets different faces a lot of customizable stuff but let's do the next level because I know you're here to see the gameplay this one is called the t20 horizontal boost okay and so this is the map where they first implement the boost so if I double click after I get out of the launch zone, it'll now give me a boost so that I can accelerate whenever I want. Now you've got to be careful with that though because oftentimes it'll send you careening off the edge of the map if you time it wrong. Additionally, if you hold the mouse down, once you're out of this little gated area, if you hold the mouse down and go forward or backwards, it will lean your cart forwards and backwards. This will make you do wheelies when you're on the ground which will allow you to get over these little speed bump thingies. And then additionally, leaning will change your direction in midair. So if you lean backwards while flying forwards, it'll slow you down and if you lean forwards while flying forwards, it'll speed you up a little bit but if you incline too far in either direction it'll make you fall like a stone straight down so be careful there's definitely a lot of learning along the way let's see if we can nail this thing the first time oh he's already off to a better start than we are okay so he's boosting oh that's right I remember this one you got to flip the cart to land it properly kind of I still don't know if we're gonna make it I've never been able to complete this track without flipping the cart I have to otherwise I always go off the edge so we'll let me see here we didn't have enough speed we can do it this time though Boom, and then what we'll do, oh no, 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 levitation cart, well that was sort of like the getaway of doing it I guess, I mean we still made it, we didn't beat our previous score but we still made it, let's try it one more time, I bet we can do better, we'll just do it on this one, I mean technically we already completed this thing but we'll try it out right here, we're already being beat by my ghost, so I think what I'm going to try and do is maybe glide this one in sexy style. No, not sexy style. I have to win this. Like, deep down right now, I can feel the flea biting, and I have to win this. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I have to make sure that we can do this. I don't know how he's beating me off the line like that, but he is definitely beating me off the line. There we go. We'll incline it. 
And slide it in, slide it in. Come on, not off the edge. How come he didn't slide as far as I did? I feel like that's unfair. I mean, it's me, so I'm saying that I myself am unfair every time I do this, but... Okay, we can do this this time. Here we go. Oh, uh, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Oh, we made it into the launch zone. Are we gonna get a better time, though, is the question. Let's find out. Oh, we still... Did I beat myself? No, I didn't get any new fans, so I totally didn't beat myself. I'll save that for later. Let's go ahead and do the next track. So this one is called Traction. I don't remember this track. I mean, I, that's a funny pun that they've done right there. This looks like it's going to be a pretty boost intensive run. All right, I get the idea. Let's go. There we go. Are we good? I don't know if we're good right now. Let's reverse our direction. Oh, he's ahead of me. I can't accept that. I have to win this like the right way. Okay, so right here we're going to have to boost through some gates. Oh, I totally messed this one up last time. I wasn't even aware. All right, well, I hit the gates. These gates right here, you just got to time it right. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. I think we are not going to make it. Oh, we did. Good. Okay, so we made it this time, but there's no telling what's going to happen once we land right here. So, oh, he's already beat us. Well, ass. That sucks. How did he get here so quickly? Did he reverse direction? How did he make it? Oh, the traction gates reversed his direction. That's how he beat me. Okay. Or that's how I beat myself, I guess. I used the traction gate to reverse myself and cut out the entire part. Let's try that one more time, and we'll try and do it the same way I did last time. Maybe that's a good way to get an extra score in. Okay, so we'll go right there. We've already reversed direction. Reverse direction again. And actually... I want to hit the gate right there, because that'll reverse me. Maybe. Well, it should have. Okay, there we go. And then we flip the cart and land right inside the landing zone. Hell yeah. Victory for us. And that's still the top 12. Oh, wow. We're the top 12%. We still didn't nail that as fast as we could have. I think everybody else is cheating the same way that I'm doing, trying to skip half the track right there. Some of the tracks definitely have some unique shortcuts that you can dig up while you play through. Let's do another track right here. We may even do a little bit of progression today, although I can't guarantee that my mood is going to stay entirely happy because some of these tracks get really, really nasty. Okay, so we'll release right here. Oh, I messed that up already. Hold on. All right, let's go like so. And can I actually... I don't think I'm supposed to do this right here, but I'm going to check out the track because I didn't watch the whole thing. And I want to see... Okay, so that's going to fail you either way. It just dumps you out like a golf course or a mini golf course. Okay, so we're back to right here. We'll reverse ourselves. Maybe boost across there. We got a wheelie to get over that. Oh, and I overshot that completely. Well, damn. All right, one more time. Here we go. Okay, so we reverse our direction. We try to wheelie as best I can. We're going to drop off of there. And the second that we switch direction... Oh, I'm going to hit the car. No! No! I can't let myself beat myself. Okay, we go over that. We're up on the boosts. We're not going to make that unless we boost. And then right here, I think... Oh, no. I may have actually messed that up. I messed it up. I should have rode that momentum down. I think we came off of that one too hot, too. There's probably a button that does reset the level. Make this a little bit easier. I don't care about that. We'll go right over there. And the second we hit that right there, I'm going to try and run that gate. Oh, good. It worked. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we're going over right here. I need to wheelie to get over there. We've got the boost going. And then right here, we've actually got to play this a little bit. And so I actually don't think... I've got to reverse my direction by going up the hill right here. But the second we start to go back down, I'm going to boost it on home. And I still don't know if I'm going to land this properly. Okay, I need to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. No, dump it, dump it. Oh, god damn it. We almost made it. See, and that's like, this game could be really, really frustrating. Especially since the devs will taunt you on some of the maps. They'll actually put in little tips that are like, you suck. Ha ha ha. You know, like, little, little nasty things. They're like, guess what? Everything on this map is your fault. <laughs> you're like, wow. I guess, I guess you're right. It is absolutely my fault, but still. Let's boost our way through all of this as best as we can. 
because I'm terrible and I have no skills. Oh no. Oh, I messed this up badly. Is that gonna write itself properly? I hope it does. Okay, I may need to wheelie in order to do this proper- Ah, uh, yeah. There it is right there. So sometimes, you just don't nail the thing properly. Oh, that was too much. Too much pepper going in. And are we gonna make that one? Oh, can I fix- No! You weren't going- That boosted the wrong direction. You see the way he was facing? It boosted the opposite direction of the way he was facing. It's a little bit buggy. Alright. See, like, right there it did the same thing. Why did it boost the wrong direction? It's all good. We can make it up through better boost control. We can do this. I believe. There we go. But if you just the one boost right there, he's still coming in pretty hot though. Okay, we're... Eh, it's still a little... I just want to switch directions, I'm going to be honest. Wow, I'm boosting like crazy over here. Let the heat go down a little bit. Ah. That's ridiculous, and it makes me sad. I don't remember having this much trouble with this map the first time I did it. Let's try again. Alright, we got this right here. I can't get the wheelie up for whatever reason. Like, sometimes after you switch direction, the wheelies are just like, nah, we're not doing that today. There it is. Is that going to go down far enough? Oh, I sincerely hope that it does. Oh, we're making time this time. But can we stick the final landing? That's what matters. That final landing's a bitch. Okay, so we're not going to let this gain, like, any speed. Oh my god, are you serious? And so this is definitely a frustration game. It's definitely a frustration game. I can feel myself flushing out already, getting irritated. I think I landed. I think you gotta also focus on that one. Like, you can't land too far, like, forward on the hill. Tip myself off of... Oh, good. This is looking great. It's looking like a successful run already. Off to further... There we go. We're just gonna go back this way. Oh, my God. The wheelies, they don't work. Not very well, anyways. I mean, sometimes, like, you can see on my screen, like, I'm clicking and I'm trying to put up a wheelie, but it just won't let me sometimes. That is not what I desired. That is the opposite of what I desired. All right. See, like, right there, I gripped all the way over, and it still just wouldn't give me the wheelie. Right here, I'm gonna try and boost over all this. Whether or not it'll help me or not, we'll see, but... And all I need to do is turn around. That's all that I care about. I think that might be what it is. I'm just landing too far. Ah, I way over boosted that one. Although, this might still work. Hold on, let me roll this. Ah, balls. Alright, we're gonna skip this one. I've already beaten it. It doesn't matter to me. Let's see if we can do something a little bit more... Coming in hot. What is this one? This track has a fever of 103. So this is a map that incorporates jumping. So if you go off right here, and now if you click at the bottom and you slide upwards, you'll do like a little jump, like so. And you can actually, as the game goes along, you can begin to skip a lot of the obstacles just by jumping your way through them. Although the game does get difficult, it stays this way. Okay, I tried to jump that just in case. 
We might be coming in too hot right here. No, we're good. We're all right. We're going to make it. We're going to make this happen, Cap'n. And part of it's you gotta you can only brake properly if both your wheels are on the ground. Ah, I did it twice. I just didn't brake enough because I had to make the gates. Oh well, at least we completed the level. I mean, that's one benefit that I'm talking about. <laughs> we gained zero fans. Although we did get a little bit more money, so that's fine. Ah, uh, okay, so this one's a little bit fun. So this one starts you off a little bit precariously. This will probably be the last level we do. Let's see here. First, you gotta decide if you wanna go right or left. Hey, I didn't start the game off. Come on now. I think I'll go this way. Go like so, maybe? Oh wow, I totally like won that one as a glitch. That's crazy. Oh, the time already started. Jesus, I'm not even doing anything right now. So come into this a little bit hot. But I think, yeah, we can actually just weasel our way. No, why would you turn around when I'm facing this way? Like it turns around sometimes. It's supposed to face the direction that's going downhill, but sometimes it just doesn't. Like that right there where it boosts into a wall for some reason. Oh my god. I think the main problem is that my ghost is when I sat here for like hours trying to make this work. Oh my god. No! It's so obnoxious. It frustrates me that my ghost is having such an easy time with this and I'm failing so miserably. I mean, technically that is me, so I can do this, I believe, but... I think you gotta... Oh my god, what the hell? Just does not want to work for me. I mean, I know what it wants you to do. Like, it wants you to go like... This. And then like, do like a little jumpy thing. Like so, and then, like you're supposed to clear that though, or something, I'm not really sure. I've never tried to do it from the left before, I've done it from the right every single time that I've done it, because I get tunnel vision and I focus on one strategy too much, you all know this already. Hit the speed bump, maybe creep over it a little bit, there we go. No! Oh my god, I hate my life so much right now. Why would it- no! Oh my god. Why would you boost that way? There's no real reason for you to boost that way. There we go. So now we get the momentum up, we hit the speed bump, we don't touch anything. And it should just creep over the speed bump on its own. And then, I think if I can just manage to- No! No, no, I forgot, I don't need that much speed. Oh my god. I am the worst player ever. And I want to die right now. This is why I don't play games like this. Why- No- mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it makes you want to cry. It really does. I don't really know how you're supposed to do this from the left. Let's investigate. I don't think you can do that from the left. Let's see. I mean, there's gems down here, so obviously it's intended to be done from the left, but... Yeah, jump's not working like I want it to. 
Let's see if we can go left, and then we'll give this like one or two more shots, and then we'll call it a day. Like, I sort of see how you would do it from the left, but it's still a pain in the ass to do it from the left. Yep, yeah, we're about to hit that gate. Oh well. We'll complete it at bare minimum. There we go, we finished the level. So this has been Weekly Indie Newcomer. The game we've been looking at today is Swipe Cart. And honestly, I feel exhausted just playing this game. Like, this game really does exhaust me. But if you're into these sort of challenge games that are very, very difficult and rely on just pinpoint precision, this game has some levels that are so fine-tuned that you'll sit there and just stare at them. Like, for example, there's a level where you have to launch up into the air, dive your cart down a hole, and then slow down before you hit, like, another spot, before you hit the goal, and it's, like, the hardest thing that I've seen in a video game in a while. And it took me practically a half a day to beat that level. But once you finally beat it, you're just like, ah! And then you log off and you don't play for a couple hours because you just need to cool down. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in this episode of Swipe Cart for Weekly Indie Newcomer. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. I do this every Friday, so if you enjoyed this series at all, take care out there, everybody. Subscribe, because I will be back next Friday. Take care out there, everybody, before I get ahead of myself, and hi-do.